the first knock is going to go on to Stink. Playing the bubble perfectly. Another bubble coming in. Looks like Team Intel has this one in the bag. That's going to be two knocks. Last player is alive. Is he going to be able to do this one? You can see, I highly doubt he's going to be able to get out of this with his Wraith form. Nice crawl up right there. Team Night. Now we'll see how much loot he gobbles up before he goes for that push. One is able to clear the fences for him. Hill taking a lot of damage, but now he's going to continue with the aggression. Drop down to 25 HP, but a hero will be able to take him out. But it's going to be a 2v1 for Team Intel to close this one out and pick up another 3 KP and just... Yeah, and they have the Crypto, so they're going to have the intel on exactly how many players there are. Looks like that player is going to try to push in from the zone. Curious who that is. Ingles, but yeah, he's waiting to see exactly how he wants to go. He's got that grapple. He goes Death in. Slide. He's taking some damage, but there it is. Dropping down with that Mastiff. They drop their armors. They're probably just going to try to do a bubble play, which they elect to do. And there's the climb up. All players sitting Ooh. over towards the top. A great 104 coming in. Multiple nades coming through. I love the shots coming in from Haculo. Looks like they're doing a great job staying alive. And Team Razor, are what? you kidding? And then go. But they're just going to elect a full send all at the same time. The good thing is, is nobody clambered up on top of one another. So they all make it. They notice that one player is down as well. Perfect Ooh. tracking there coming in from Tempest, knocking Oso oh raided. And now Team Intel taking the high ground, taking the good position, and busting out that Bloodhound ultimate should give them the information they need to win this game. Like you said, I can't believe they got the trailer for free. Whatever team left that position made a huge mistake, but NPL over here working on the side 112 with the massive and the finish. Ooh. These guys are on fire right now. Well, and here it is. Some needs coming in. Damage is not coming across. Crummy's gonna try and port his team out of here. Never mind, that was just a Q on in to try and go for the flank. But he's taking so much damage. His armor has been cracked. Matt Pickett, though, has picked up one knock on to Roddy. Rakanishu will finish him off. But they do trade away. Bambino will be able to pick up one now. Crummy and Rakanishu looking to close this one out. Because that's what they took. Down there over by Dome, but uh, we got to see the Replicator, and oh no, so does this person in front of him. It's Stunny! In control of this building slowly but surely. He's on the ledge on the outside, has the mask about. That's a massive hit. He instantly goes for that kick. Oh, opens the door. Hits another for 67 and then a 13. He's done so much damage, which allows Rakanishu and Matt Pickett to get on in. They will. I'm so shocked that Team Rockstar hasn't bought these guys from behind yet. It looks like Pringles is going to be able to pick up a lot of these kills, but no, Rakanishu is going to take an off angle here. Pickett's going to take an off angle. They're going to allow these guys to do the damage in front of them. Then they come in from behind with the great massive shots. Rakanishu laying down some serious damage here. He should be able to get a down a small angle to work with, but I love what Crummy's gone done. He set himself a low ground angle. They have gotten rid of Team Applejack. You're going to be able to do some nice damage right here with the 2-4, but it's almost massive time, and I feel like Zero Trick is going to realize that, but instead he's just going to rip people apart. They are looking to close this one out and catch right back up on the leaderboard, and you can see that the other teams know exactly which position they're in. They control their own destiny. They will go ahead and secure a top two for themselves, but then... We have two versus three. Do you see the caustic gas coming through? player is going to be over towards the high ground. That's the final player over there. Great job taking some different angles. That's going to be Bowser. As Sung is going to get that knock on towards Pickett, which was a two-man squad over towards the bridge side. Oh. But amazing. Look, I believe there's someone above them right now. We'll see if this fight will end anytime soon. But, oh boy, it's peak after peak. Now here's the drop down from the Watson, but strictly with the Volt gets him. The gold will fall. And now it's all up to Mercy only. He's got the purple armor swap as well, but it's a 1v2 as he pushes up and uh somehow team jesus do it they take the win and this portal play coming out here from sunny just to get some different angles you don't really have to take the portal but the drop down is what you have to watch out for that's going to be a nice kill coming in from sung a nice little portal play coming in too not sure what quite not sure what team that was but you're going to have Two brains, one controller dropping down for the final fight against Rice and Krispies. If they win this one, they may take this game in the series. Oh, but here comes the defensive bombardment, and it's doing a lot of damage here. As Stunny wow. will be able to stay alive and Team Rice.